So first of all, I would like to extend my thank you to the Foundation on behalf of Professor Terry Jones and myself to support our research into brain tumors. So our goal is very simple. All we want to achieve is to extend survival of glioblastoma patients. Glioblastoma is a very deadly cancer and people diagnosed with glioblastoma survive approximately one year and brain cancer kills one Australian every eight hours. So it is also a very complex disease, so the research we don't exactly understand um, what is causing the formation of brain tumors. But what we know today, after decades of research, that there is one protein in brain tumors that drive proliferation of these cancer cells. And this protein called EGFR, or epidermal growth factor receptor, which I call when I explain it to my student what it is, I say it's the bad guy that gives all the signals to the cells to proliferate, which drives then uh, a growth of the tumor. So what we know that we have to stop this bad guy and very simplistically, all you need is a drug that will stop the function of this protein. And this is true, we have uh, drugs in the clinic that will stop the functioning of EGFR and they are effective in treating lung cancer or colorectal cancer. Unfortunately, these drugs, they keep failing in clinical trials. And now we know that the reason why they keep failing is that it's not enough only to stop this bad guy, we also have to remove this receptor uh, from the cell surface. So uh, me and Terry, we came to this idea of trying a new drug combination where we combine two drugs. One drug will stop the functioning of EGFR and the other drug will remove this uh, protein from the cell surface. And in the preliminary work that led to this uh, uh, proposal that we, gave, we put down to Brown Foundation, we found out that this drug combination was extremely toxic to glioblastoma cells. So we were very effectively killing the cancer cells, but not the, no, uh, the healthy cells of the brain, the microglia, the astrocytes, the oligodendrocytes, which means that we might have a new drug combination that will stop the brain tumors from growing. So what we will do now with the very generous gift of the Brown Foundation is we will try these new drug combinations in primary cells from glioblastoma patients because glioblastoma is a very heterogeneous disease. So we have the panel of cell lines and we want to find out which patients will respond best to this treatment. We don't want to give it to the patients which might not respond to this therapy and then we will expand this uh, research into animal models. With this set of data, we're hoping we will be ready to launch preclinical and maybe hopefully clinical trials that will deliver the best, the better therapy because what we have currently is very poor. And as I said, the glioblastoma people survive one year. So any difference that we can make is great and Brain Foundation will enable this. So thank you again for this very generous gift. <laughs>